Scott, welcome to Ipswich Town. Um, the obvious question when we get a player is why Ipswich? It just felt felt right, you know, speaking to the manager, speaking to to Mark, um, and obviously seeing the the players that you know the club's already signed. It's a massive football club that wants to go places, and so they. A good goals record for MK Dons last season. Obviously, that's something you want to try and bring to the team this year. Yeah, you know, hundred um, percent. I'm a midfielder, attacking midfielder, centre cent- mid, eight or ten. You know, I'd like to chip in my goals and assists, and you know, over the past two seasons, I've managed to do that. Did you know at the end of last season that you might be moving on? Because obviously, I think you're player of the year there, so you obviously done well, and they wanted to keep you. But yeah, you know, I had a really good relationship with Russell Martin there, and he was honest with me about the phone calls that he had received about me from. From clubs, and you know it's always good. Um, you know, it means that you're, the, the team's doing well. But as an individual, I was doing well also. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, once I heard a club like Ipswich were in, you know, it made it easy for me. There are other clubs because talk of maybe Championship clubs in for you. Is that is that true or? Yeah, you know, um, I think as I said, the gaffer was honest with me, open and honest with me. You know, I've got a good agent behind me that, you know, helps me with stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it was about agreeing a fee, obviously. With a year left on my contract at MK, you know, it was never a case of, you know, I was going to chuck my toys out of the pram at MK. Mm. I had far too much respect for the manager there and Luke, the assistant. Um, so I spoke to the manager and I was honest to him when I heard the club they kept switch were in, you know. It was something that I wanted, I wanted to look at if they could agree the fee and thankfully they managed to. The other clubs in for you, I mean, we've talked about championship clubs, it shows you maybe what the what the new ownership and Mark Ashton are doing here and trying to sell the dream at Ipswich Town to players like you? Yeah, you know, I've always said I want to play in the Championship, I want to play higher in the Championship, but I was also clear with Russ back at MK that I wasn't just going to go to a Championship club to say, oh yes, I'm in the Championship. Mm. You know, I want to go to a club where, you know, here for example, once we get in the Championship, you know, we want to kick on, it's not just about trying to survive. And when I spoke to Mark and I spoke to the gaffer here, that was the biggest thing I took from it. So when I explained my decision to MK that, yeah, the championship interest is obviously good, but in terms of clubs, you know, mm-hmm. this was right for me. What's your personal goal here over the next 12 months? It's got, to, it's got to be to be part of a successful team, you know, like a team that's battling at the top end right right the way through the season, trying to get ourselves into that championship. Tough league, down it, League One, as Very you know. Very tough, I think, um, you know, if you look at some of the clubs that are in it, you know, it wouldn't even look like a League One table. Um, but yeah, we you know we want to be right right at the top end. Of that. You know we're a massive club ourselves, and we'll, we'll be looking to be there. Russell, had you passing the ball around at MK, and obviously Paul wants to play a little bit like that as well on the front foot. I mean, is that important that you're joining the team that suits your skills? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I think a player like me, you know, I don't just want to go somewhere where the ball's going to go back to front. You know, I want to play, I want to pass the ball, I want to be attacking, and yeah, everything the manager said, he said I was a big part of that of what he wants to bring to the team. So. You know, he's been he's been on the phone to my agents and that for a couple of weeks now, so it's something that, you know, has been in the pipeline. Um but yeah, over the past few days it's really stepped up, you know, get get in touch, you speak to the manager and come down. Um I can see his vision for the club. Probably an unfair question, is ambition to take it your league form on maybe into the inter- international level with Scotland, is that an Well, yeah that's, yeah, that's definitely the next step, you know, obviously I got a taste of watching the Euros this year with Scotland mm. being in it, you know, but I definitely think I'm good enough to be part of that, um, and I think coming to a club this size, you know, I want to come here and I want to, I want to go, like I want to be one of the main men here, um, and again, I feel like I've got the confidence and the ability to do that, you know, mm. along with the hard work, and I think if if I'm doing it on a stage like this, then that's only going to impress so the last one. the World Cups around the corner, not too far away, is it? Well, let's hope so. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your time. No Cheers. All the best. Cheers, guys.